Hello friends, this video on perimeter and area part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us look at an interesting thing. Have you ever observed that inside a rectangle you can have triangles? Just draw a diagonal like this and what do you see? The rectangle is now has been now split into two triangles. So this is one triangle and this is the second triangle. So now you have two triangles located inside the rectangle. Now let us do something more interesting about these triangles inside the rectangles. Let us first of all name the rectangle. Let's say this rectangle was A, B, C and D. So the moment it is divided into two triangles, what are the two triangles? The triangles are triangle A, B, C and triangle A, D, C. Now let us try to compare these two triangles. Like by looking at them, they look quite similar to each other. But are these triangles exactly congruent? Now by now you all know what is congruence, right? When two triangles are so much exact to each other that they can exactly overlap each other, then we say that the two triangles are congruent. And there are certain rules to prove whether two triangles are congruent or not. So let us try to compare these two triangles. So here we see if you look at these angles, both of these angles are a right angle. So basically angle ADC is equal to angle ABC is equal to 90 degree. So these two angles are equal. Now when you look at AC, AC is a common side for both the triangles. So AC is a common side. Okay. Now when you look at AD and BC, we see that AD is also equal to BC. That's because in a rectangle, opposite sides are equal. So with this, what do we see? That in both these triangles, there is a right angle, the hypotenuse is equal and one side is equal. Therefore, we can say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC. By which congruence or by which rule of congruence? By RHS, that is right hypotenuse side criteria. So by RHS criteria, these two triangles are congruent. So what are we trying to prove by saying that these two triangles are congruent? So what we are trying to say is, now in this case, if I ask you to find the area of one of these triangles, so what would be the area of one of these triangles? Now since both these triangles are congruent, that means their areas are equal because they both exactly overlap each other, right? That means they both enclose the same area. So therefore, we can say, Area of triangle ABC is equal to area of triangle ADC. Now since both of them have equal area, so area of each triangle is equal to half of the area of rectangle ABCD. So we derived a relationship between the area of the rectangle and the area of the triangles which are located inside the rectangles. Now why we did this? That's because many a times it happens that you are not given the area of the rectangle but you are given the area of the triangle. So if you know this relationship, you can very easily find out the area of the rectangle. Right. So in a very similar way, triangles exist inside square as well. So when you actually draw a diagonal inside a square, it again gets split into two triangles. And with the same analogy here also, we see that triangle ABC. So if, if we call this A, B, C, and D. So with exactly the same analogy, we see that ABC triangle is congruent to triangle ADC by RHS congruence. Now since both these triangles are congruent, therefore we say that area of triangle ABC is equal to area of triangle ADC, which in turn is equal to half of area of square ABCD. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.